So just as you can see, there's a few layers here. There's a layer mask that's on top of this in order for it to show it happening. So when it's, everything's pretty stationary except for the ballot, it rotates, pieces torn off, and then the last part it drops down. And a good rule of thumb is to try to make it so that uh, <clears throat> one item per layer for something that's um, in motion, otherwise they start to interact with each other and ends up with a, a little piece here. So the bottom layer is the uh, part that has the voting box and the pencil. This uh, middle layer is hidden. Let's see, it has the ballot itself and also a, a layer mask that's in here near the end. And then the, let's see, the top layer just shows up a little bit as it cuts across for just a little corner piece. And that stays up there and <coughs> continues on with the animation. So there's just three layers that show up for this part. There's some motion tweens on two of the three layers that allow that to happen. So let's see if we can do it, do it from scratch. So we'll just go to New, Action Script 3. Gives you the page size, the unit of measurement, frames per second, background color. Just click OK. Just going to go to Command Tab to Illustrator. Here's the file here. Oops. So I'll just copy it. And Command Tab, come back to the Animate file. So it's the first frame, first layer right there. And just go to Edit Paste. <clears throat> It'll give you these options. And for currently, just keep it off of Bitmap for now. And this is allows you to scale it right away. Shows that it's all connected to its own center point and places it on there. So it was just a three second uh, animation that had a few layers on it. So depending on how you like to, once you get started and see how you like to get organized, you can put as many layers right away or as you're starting to build uh, build the animation. But I'll just keep it at a three seconds. I'm just flipping back to the other one to show you that it's these measurements are at seconds. Here's the untitled folder. And over here it gives you a little bit of a scale where you can increase or decrease so you can see the, the frames and also the second marks right up here a little bit larger. A lot of other things you'll get to later. But um, for this part, I'm just going to go to the third second, three seconds, and just insert a timeline and a keyframe. What that does, it just keeps everything right now on that timeline separated from there. Still keep it on the first first frame, but it's just going to be a three second animation. If I select this piece, you can see it's all uh, broken apart. I'm just going to highlight all of this and cut it and just go to a new frame and just go to edit paste in place. So it puts it right on top. It's just on a separate separate layer. Okay, So it's still connected so I'm just going to make it just a little bit smaller. Place it up here. And that'll give me the, maybe a little bigger. So you can see it. So it's just going to turn and drop. I'm trying to anticipate the space that'll fit right in there as it goes. So <clears throat> that's on the second frame. So I'll just put the box. I can do two things. Why this is all selected, when you make it into a, a motion tween or that type of thing, it's going to ask you to convert it to a symbol. So I'm just going to go ahead and convert it to a symbol and give it a title. Keep it as graphic. It might default to movie clip. I'm just going to clip it onto a graphic. So now I have ballot right there, and it sets up to that section. So on this uh, window, it's going to uh, Rotate. So I'm just going to come around to the first frame, insert timeline and a keyframe, and that puts an exact copy right on there. So when you see it, it's going to show up across here. And within this frame, I'm just going to create a classic tween. You can see a little purple with a line there to it. Coming over to the properties, I'm just going to turn off scale 
and come to this glass frame here and just rotate it and take the scrubber line just to see what happens when it starts. So it starts and ends and it's rotating it across. So we'll come back to this one, but I'm going to go to a new one. I'll just type corner. So this uh, image, I'm just going to copy. See if I can insert a keyframe. Edit, paste in place. So now, if I hide them both, there's this one that has the same layer as this one. Let's see if I don't mess this up here. It should work. So now from here to here, it's going to rip this uh, section apart. I'm just going to go to modify and break apart. So now it's back to these four elements. Okay. And I'm just going to take all these pieces out. And I just have that corner. And then I'm going to insert timeline keyframe. So now there's our keyframe there. So I'm going to give this a little tween. It's gonna, this is where it automatically asks me to make it into a graphic. So here's that corner, so I'll just call it corner. And I'll come to the end frame and just move it up to the side here. So now it's off to the side. Bring this one back. And you can see it turns it. I didn't take the corner off, so it's going to be sitting there. And you take a look at that part that comes across. I'll come back and fix that later. Okay. <clears throat> so here it is on the ballot frame. I'm just going to go to uh, see if I can modify this. I'm going to break this apart. Take that off. Coming back to the second layer, now this is the, the image. Insert timeline and a keyframe. This here. Keyframe here. Inside here, this is where I'll create the last tween. So now between here and here. Back to this guy. So I do have the beginning part frame at the beginning, so I'm just going to drop this guy down. So it's showing it like that. So it just and I just have to take that last piece out. <clears throat> and so when you take a look at the one that I have this completed, there's a, a layer mask right here above it. So when you take a look, that's the one that you add separately. And so right above this, just create a new layer. Mask. And take this color. It doesn't matter what uh, color you start off with. I just want it to cover this part. Right click on it and color the mask. So now it goes inside the little the little slip there. Get pretty close on that edge. It's pretty tight on the edge, so I might move it over in a little bit.
So try again to make sure that whatever element you put on a motion is on a separate, separate layer so you can place that in there. So this is just using three layers, three seconds, a second for each of the actions that comes through, and then you can see that part at the at the end as it goes through. I think I have this guy at the end. Let's see. Turn the mask off. You just you, you won't see it at that part of it there. Okay. And this again is the the end of what you end up with. Control. 